we had undergone some kind of a renewal. We had we had moved into a um, performance space that we created, and we added an art gallery to it uh, called the called uh, called the Isobar on the Canadian side. Uh, we had uh, we had uh, begun to feature small, intimate performances there to go along with the orchestra season. So when the pandemic happened, uh, we started to uh, almost right away to film uh, distanced um, musical uh, uh, events and to try to get them up onto our uh, onto first on to our YouTube channel. Yeah, the truth hits you over the head like an ambit. But uh, in the summertime, there was a bit of an opportunity when the Sarny City Council decided to shut down the downtown core uh, to encourage small uh, um, support of small businesses during COVID. And uh, this um, this happened uh, every weekend for 10 weeks between July and September. So what we did was we put musicians in the window and we ran a cord out to a speaker on the sidewalk and we arranged chairs in um, distance pods on the street. Uh, we had different musical acts every uh, every week and we would include members of the orchestra in this run. Um, almost everyone donated their time. So it became a big rent party for us and it kept light on us in the, uh, com in the community that we had enough uh, sort of, uh, we had enough confidence now as, as an organization to see if we could put on an entire season, but to deliver it uh, online, digitally. And then there'll be subsequent releases as we progress into the concert season. That's right. Every month uh, between December, uh, it'll be late December to late April. I, I remember that uh, above all, um, you know, we're not essential. So we've been struggling, but we are preferred. So we're going to try to remain preferred for our, you know, for our bridge to communities and to, to try to get the product to to them as you know easily as you know as possible. You know, we we took a look around to to see how the you know how the larger or, or you know orchestras in the states uh, had been surviving and had been even flourishing during this time. And it was you know and it was the orchestras who had the strongest community support. You know, so that's what's kept us going. Orange sky, don't go. Manhattan looks like someplace else. It's cloudy with the low fog shell. It's Can you share some broad strokes for maybe kind of the future picture of the International Symphony Orchestra, Anthony? Being an orchestra, being a symphony or orchestra, and having to truncate your lineup, that was doable. And we're able to do that, of, of course, because that's part of the experience. However, being a full orchestra, that means uh, we would be, uh, uh, you know, organizations like ours will be the last to be allowed onto the concert stage. Audiences will be allowed to fill halls be before we are allowed onto a, onto a, you know, a you know, stage. When, when the symphony singers are a choir perform with us, there's, you know, there's about 100 people on the stage. And, uh, um, and early on in the pandemic, choirs were cons considered a potential super spreader thing. So, um, you know, hence, we will be going back in increments and we look forward to it, but we are focused completely on trying to, uh, on trying to fulfill our mandate for the communities um, um, with, um, with uh, you know, on a motion capture level so we can continue to feed it as sort of, uh, uh, to consider ourselves a sort of content pro provider. Um, only the content is like the most glorious and, you know, and moving and life-changing content you could possibly uh, have uh, available.